Welcome to YouTube's new biggest virtual dating show, where we take two people from anywhere in the world, stick them on a Zoom meeting together and see what happens. But there's a slight twist to it. I'll be watching the date, they'll both be aware of this. Halfway through the date, I'm gonna split them both up and interview them one on one. Find out how their date is going and if there's any advice that I can offer them, it will be provided. In some scenarios, they may be getting along so well that I won't even interrupt and I'll let the lovebirds get on with it. But what happens at the end of the date is even more interesting. There's three options. They're either both not gonna like each other, in which, in which scenario, nothing happens. If they both like each other, I will be facilitating and paying for both of them to go on a date with a three course meal and a bottle of champagne, subject to their local lockdown restrictions based on coronavirus. In the scenario where one person likes one person, but the other person does not like them back, well, in that scenario, the person who doesn't like the other person back will win a cash prize. So we started by interviewing the girls. There was one that really, really stood out to me as being bubbly, positive, and she just had a very genuine aura to her. And I could tell that if she could meet the right person at this point in her life, that it would mean a lot to her. Hey, Prabitha, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you. So you ready for me to ask you a few quick questions? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Awesome. Okay, so no pressure. Just, I just kind of want to understand a little bit about you and what kind of makes you want to go on the show and potentially meet someone that you might really get along with, right? So why don't you start by telling me okay. uh, kind of what kind of position are you at with your dating life? Is it just you have like no options or is there too many options or you're just not focusing on it? What, what is it? Um, okay, so... Basically, at this moment, uh, I just finished my master's and uh, I am just waiting to start my own business. So I'm preparing myself for it. So at this moment, I, I'm not looking for an option or something. It's just um, this is something will give me motivation to keep, go keep going forward in my life. I just don't want to stop because of few things that happened previously in this year. Uh, I got stuck and like I was very, you know, there was no movement. I was not growing in my life because of that. I just want anything that comes my way. I just want to take that and keep moving. So I believe this might be something that will encourage me to go ahead again. Amazing. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's awesome. And uh, last kind of quick question I have for you is what is it that you're looking for in a partner? Um, first and foremost is literally honesty. Um, whatever it is, like if it is bad or good, whatever it is, I just want to know anything in the world. I don't want to know, to know about that world. person from anyone else. Yeah, anything, Madhav. Even if that guy is cheating on me, I want to know it from his mouth. I don't want anyone else coming and telling me that your guy is cheating on you. Yeah. I might forgive that guy when he's coming and acknowledging that he did a mistake. But I won't accept when somebody else and comes and tells, you know, your guy is doing that. No, I won't tolerate it. One thing, that's the foremost thing. And the other thing is, have faith in me. I'll, we'll make it work. Just don't give up so easily. So those two things and I'm fine. Perfect, Prabitha. How could we let Prabitha down? She's literally relying on me to find her her future husband. And all she wants is someone who's honest and reliable. Now, as Prabitha's based in Bangalore, I started searching for guys in the India region. As at the end of the day, she's looking for a boyfriend, not a pen pal. So our search began. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? Hello, mate. Hey, dude, how are you? Hello. Hello, mate. Uh, hey, man, your audio is really, really bad. Speak again, please. Can you hear me? 
Perfect. Okay, Shads. Well, it's nice to nice to virtually meet you. How are you feeling? Yeah, sorry, I can't hear you. I said it's nice to virtually meet you. How are you feeling? I can't hear you properly. Actually, it's raining here. Okay. Um. What are you in a? Are you in quite a loud place? Sorry. How about this, bro? Just just uh, message me when you're home, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll call you back. What's going on in your dating life at the moment? Like, are you looking for someone at the moment? Are you looking for something serious? What What, what is it saying? Right now, I have like uh. I'm not looking for someone just because I have a girlfriend though. Why would you apply for a dating show when you have a girlfriend? I could already see the disappointment in Prabitha's face when I had no viable option to show her. I mean, all she was looking for is someone honest and reliable. Is it that hard to find? I mean, really and truly, all I was looking for at that moment in time was someone with a good enough fucking internet connection for me to have a conversation with. I was close to giving nice up. Nice to see you, mate. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. You're very charismatic. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I have a few questions for you, right? To see okay. if you're the right person for this girl. So first question for you, would you describe yourself as honest? Yeah, I would describe myself as an honest person. Okay. Would you describe yourself as reliable? Uh, yeah, you can say I'm quite reliable. Okay. Not that reliable, but quite reliable. Okay, we can work with that. We can work with that. Yeah. Last question. Hi well, last question in terms of compatibility before we jump into you. Hypothetically, if you were to cheat on someone, would you tell them? Yeah, I would tell them. Perfect. Okay. And you're based in Bangalore, right? Yeah, I'm based in Bangalore. Okay, this is literally just green ticks going off in my Cupid head right now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, now the questions are more about you. So um, okay. where are you kind of at with your dating life at the moment? Do you have options or like what's going on at the moment? Uh, actually, I have been actually it's been a while since I've been off the table, dating table, because due to work and other stuff. Recently, I was uh, I was I, I recently go I usually go on dates uh, here and there, but not something like uh, substantial. Anything happened because okay. the thing is, for what I search is for the mindset. The mindset okay. doesn't match most of the times. Understood. People pretend that's the thing. What type of person I am? I am a totally straightforward person. If you are having a problem, if you are facing some problem, you directly. Communicate. I believe in communication. People they hold back in themselves. That's what is the biggest problem for me. Because until unless you communicate, you are not able to solve what your problem. That's the thing. And in one hundred percent, man. Man, I'm so excited to introduce you to her because she said exactly the same thing. Oh my god! She literally <laughs> said the same thing. And one more thing about myself. I am also a psychology student. Also, I belong from the psychology background. I run two or three e-commerce stores. And I'm working currently in Amazon, Amazon India. Plus, there are two e-commerce stores. One is uh, one is running in US, one is running in India. So, India one recently started like two weeks back, and US one is running from around six months or seven months. Uh, plus, I have always, I also, I also invest in stocks and all those things. So, basically, I have a varied portfolio, and I do counseling for students also for their career and all those stuff. So wait, just to just to reelaborate, you are twenty three. You work for yeah. Amazon India. You have two yeah. e commerce businesses. You invest in stocks and you do counselling. And you're a psychology yeah. graduate. Yeah, I'm feel I'm feeling jealous <laughs> out here right now. Wow. <laughs> wow, mate, that is an impressive rap sheet. I'm not gonna lie, and you're my age too. So, yeah. wow. After two days of running countless interviews globally and not finding the perfect match for Pratiba, I finally think I found the right guy. So the big day was upon us. It's your big day today. How are you, you know. feeling? Yes, uh, I'm actually pretty excited. Just called my friend. I was like, okay, wish me luck. Oh, bless you. You're going to be completely fine, right? How I think it should be is it should be completely natural. Just... Be yourself. If you both click, you click. If you don't, you don't. Um, Good. Perfect. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Next time you come in here, okay. it will just be you and him. He's ready for you, mate. Are you ready? 
Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. You got this. This could be the future love of your life. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm also perfect. So, how are you doing in the lockdown time? Lockdown is like I enjoyed myself in lockdown. That's the thing. Oh, great. That's great. Yeah. That's the like very few people I hear saying that they're in, actually enjoying this time. So you, I guess you're one of them enjoying your time. Yeah. I think from your tone, you didn't like the lockdown much, being locked up. Uh, no, no, no. I, I am actually a person who likes my space and staying at home. My love, I'm cool. My, I don't have a problem like that. I, I enjoy myself. Ah, a bit was not good. Because you're not meeting your friends, you're not going to college. I was just just finished my masters, and I was like, this was the last year supposed to be having fun in college, and I'm like, it got ruined. So yeah, a yeah. little bit, but then all is good. Yeah, I can understand my point. Okay. There in college. Okay, so let's start one thing. Like you are so beautiful. So. Like, are you doing this virtual dating thing? Like you might be getting so many uh, proposals and everything in the real life also. Okay, uh, that's wrong to say that. Ki I was get I'm getting a proposal. Um, for me, I- I'm just let me just be just honest. I yeah. I have this idea about uh, love is supposed to be a uh, very much unconditional. There is no condition. If I love someone, there should not be any any you know. Uh, forceful thinking nahi if i'm loving you doesn't mean that you have to do that to me so if it is happening from me it has happening so for me it was always that ki when i was into someone the i didn't get that uh, you know um, not little bit right. of response yeah matlab that vibe right. was not there ki okay if Why even if you're not into me at least respect what i am feeling for you so that respect was missing so i yeah, guess I can. I can. that's it Yeah. So what about you? How come you are here? Actually, I was randomly scrolling on Instagram and I got a message. I just simply replied, "I'm live now. I'm here." Okay, that's good. <laughs> so you had a bad experience earlier, or it's just you want to do this way? I had a pretty bad experience back in 2018 when I was in college. So actually, I okay. got stood up just because I became fat. So that's the thing. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, like, that's how it works. Like that's in Bangalore, I guess. Like that's how it works. Okay. No, uh, it. Okay, I haven't noticed that, so I cannot co- comment on that. But uh, I don't know. Okay, that's rude. Yeah. Anyways, okay. so where did you do It's your college? I did an MS Ramaya. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would. We used to go for this college fest there, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we invited your college at times also. So yeah. So like, which college were you in? I was in IFM, uh, Bangalore, E City. Yeah, I I had I know that college. One of few of my friends, I get got them their admissions there, so I know that college. Okay. Okay. Best part okay. is we are we are both from Bangalore, right? Now. That's the best part. Uh, uh, no, uh, just uh, let me correct you. That I'm not from Bangalore. Okay. I'm basically from Uttar Pradesh. I am currently at the moment in Bangalore. Okay, same here. I am also from Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. Currently staying in Bangalore the past five years. I feel that in your accent. I feel that actually. I thought okay, this guy is not from <laughs> North <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, people here have the that accent. Yeah, that English they have a uh, something like they stress some words like that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's thing. like okay, that uh, either uh, like he's from uh, somewhere near the north, or it's it is uh, he has a pretty good accent in English. <laughs> no, yeah, Not being to interrupt okay, it just okay, to yeah. do the sixty-second interview. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Fine. Okay. So I'll start with uh, Pratiba. So Man- yeah, yeah, yeah. Manish, I'll put you in the waiting room for a second, if that's all right. Sure. Talk to me. How do you think it's going? You could be honest, by the way. It's you could, going you could be- pretty good because I feel, I- yeah, I- I'm. I'll be honest. Okay. So, um, 
I don't know about that. Uh, like how I'm feeling at the moment, this was not enough for me. But then I have this uh, thing in me that I just, if I'm talking to someone, I just click, then it will go good. I just, you know, it was talking to him was nice. Keeping it sweet and simple. Yeah, talking to him uh, was nice. Because I'll tell you one thing from my perspective. I spoke to both of you guys and on a personality level you guys actually have a lot in common but that hasn't actually come through in the last four minutes because you guys are very much just having a get to know each other conversation okay. so what i'm going to like to see in the next half of it is more kind of about yeah. your philosophies and like kind of what you do for fun and kind of like your principles in dating because that's where you guys actually have a lot similar and it's not yet come through in the conversation so i'll speak to him yeah. about it too but I actually think yeah. you're doing just some good pointers for you. You're leading the conversation. You're filling in the silences. You're very smiley. You're very positive. You're very bubbly. Um, and you have quite a, an engaging vibe to you. So I'm, I'll be honest with you. I would be surprised if he wasn't already interested. Um, so I need to give him some tips now on how to kind of improve. Hey, mate, how do you think it's going? It's going good. As far as I can say, it's going good. Okay, um, just a few tips from me, Manish. So um, on first dates, it tends to get like this. The first few minutes, it's very much like, oh, where do you live? Like, tell me a bit about you. And it's, yeah. and, um, it's very expected, like how it's going so far. It's very expected. Um, the only thing I want from you a little bit more is I'm noticing that she's kind of leading the conversation a bit and I'm asking questions when yeah. it's silent. And a second thing is uh, so far, it's very much just kind of best friend talk. What I want to see on the next part is more kind of, you want to you wanna find the similarities between you two and talk about that because that's what's going to build the connection. Yeah. Um, and so far, it hasn't come through how similar you guys are. But from interviewing you both, I know you're very similar. You have the same mindset with dating. You're looking for the same thing in a partner. And you're both start. You have businesses. She's starting up a business. So there's a lot of similarities there that I want to talk about. And um, good questions to ask someone too is what do you do for fun? Like, you know, what, what would an ideal first yeah, date that be? Yeah, that was I planned the second part. Perfect. I had perfect. to plan for that for a second. Perfect, okay. man. So you, you ready to go back in and win this woman over? Uh, yeah, fine. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Come on. You got this, bro. You got this. I have faith in you. Okay. I have faith in you. Hey, hi again. Hi. Hi. Okay. So, okay. Let's take the second part a little bit further so like uh, sure. what's your ideal date place or like ideal date type like what, what, how would you say like what's your ideal date basically for place, me um, anything is fine home or roadside or a fancy restaurant anything is fine one thing I just want is you know the person should be comfortable with you there should not be any awkwardness first you should get comfortable anywhere is fine for me and i would like suns like evening time because i don't know why evening makes me feel happy so yeah and in bangalore you go anywhere evenings are beautiful yeah that's the best part of you so how, how do you so, yeah how would you for me it's more more of adventurous kind of thing because that's makes you remember that incident or that conversation with that person. Okay. Like, if yeah. you're going on a trip or something where like, even if you're going to Nandales, for example, that yeah. trip, going to that trip with that person, that would be memorable. I would yeah. be remembering, okay, I went there with that person. So like exactly. That. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's nice. What do you do right now? Like, uh, you're looking, you're doing something after your master or something like that? Yeah, I am planning to start my own business and this is going to be my first time and in my whole, whole family, I would be the first one to do so. So I'm pretty uh, nervous about it, but I'm doing my research. So yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, oh I'm like, okay, pretty that's nervous amazing. about it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's a normal thing. I also, I, I own yeah. two or three businesses right now. So like, I can understand that anxiety. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm studying or, you know, uh, doing my own research about it. Anyways, I I have this uh, question for you. What What is the idea or what's one thing that you must have for like someone to date you? 
one person should have definitely that particular quality to date you they should have a clear mindset and they should be honest if they want they should be doing what they say that's the main thing they should have a clear mindset okay. like if you want an apple okay. you have an apple if you want a mango you should have a mango not in you so you can't take oranges and go away <laughs> like that they should have a clear mindset and they should be honest okay okay that's the main thing and what about you like what quality are you looking for um honesty definitely because i had my experiences so definitely for me honesty is must theek hai it's okay if it is anything you feel weird you take your time to say that i am okay with that but hiding and lying are two things i i wouldn't tolerate i can't tolerate because ultimately it's not you who is getting hurt it's the other person as well with you exactly. who is getting hurt about it exactly so honesty is definitely one thing and then have faith in yourself and the other person ki even if it is not working out at the moment it might gradually it give yourself some time theek yeah. hai have faith faith in that just don't lose faith in a minute ki acha it is not working out so chalo let's move on it doesn't work patience, like that you yeah. need to grow nourish patience is the key yeah. Yeah. Patience, patience should, should be, be patient there. you can't expect yeah. randomly to meet someone it yeah. would be like all like how it happens in movies and all so you should be practical about that yeah exactly yeah and yes don't live in a dream world please yeah. be practical yeah. whatever is happening will happen it will happen with a flow you cannot just it's not a magic wand from uh, hogwarts uh, magic school uh-huh. that you move and it's like whoosh everything is perfect and pink it doesn't happen yeah, like exactly. that so like yeah you told the word you want yeah. to say so that's the amazing part so i think we can connect on some points here most of the points i guess yeah Yeah. That's yeah. All. So like what do you do for fun? What's your like idea of having fun? For me cooking is one of the better ideas for having fun because I love cooking and I and I love oh, to nice. make people eat. What I Yeah. When oh, I see people eating nice. I think it makes me happy. That's the thing. And I'm a big foodie. So oh my. cooking, eating and all those things that's that's kind of my style of fun and going out with friends or going out to parties or going so that's also a, a very big part of my life going okay. out like not sitting so even lockdown i was going out like when the lockdown okay. lifted i was still going out to pubs okay. and all so people were like oh, why are you doing it i'm like you got one life man the simple as simple as that <laughs> uh, too much of adventure huh yeah adventure is the adventure i love adventure that's the thing but i try <laughs> to limit it okay <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no. It's okay. Good. If you're safe then anything is good. Yeah, exactly. And what about you? Like what do you do for fun activities and all those things? Like which makes you happy? Okay. for me um making people happy is the biggest hobby i have. Okay. Yes. So if anybody is worried or tensed I'm the one there. Hello, talk to me. I'm here. Some like that. Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, that's that makes me happy. To be honest, if the question is like what you makes know, you happy, this is my answer. But then for hobbies or time pass, I yeah. love reading books. I love reading books, literally. And um, you know, you can leave me with books. Take my phone away. Take the internet away. I am yeah. happy. <laughs> Don't give me that's phone. Amazing. I am fine. <laughs> But amazing. I love reading books. Yeah. Yeah, for the part so, where you said that making people happy uh, makes you happy the same exact the same for me. Like when someone in problem they can simply call me up and they can ask I would be there for them. That's the thing. Okay. So that no, that's like, great. Uh, no because I, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah ahead, go ahead. Continue please. No, Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I, it, it's just uh, for me is like you know quite recently during lockdown i had this question in my mind very frequently it was rising and raising in my mind ki what what is it that makes me particularly happy till now i was looking for someone else's happiness like what does that person like what what does his happiness into and i i should be doing that but after all that bad phase and everything i started questioning myself ki what is this it is exactly that makes me happy and then i went on asking the same question to my parents 
so they have been married for long very long so they should be okay. knowing that what what makes them happy and they don't know that was quite shocking for me ki they even don't know what makes them happy and that was a realizing yeah, point for me ki yeah ki you know it just you know being selfish at that one particular time ki what is that one thing that will make you happy like it's like a you know perfect wala happiness so that is make- like i felt yeah 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 i have add a question in that like does traveling to far places or even going to beaches or mountains makes you feel like connected to nature or something like that i love beaches i literally love beaches i can I stand to near the beach <laughs> okay <laughs> now you're teasing me that's not good <laughs> seriously not fair <laughs> I haven't <laughs> left my house for almost like from March, and this person is growing to go on. Not fair. Okay, that's what I bring to the table. Okay, I hate um not exactly. <laughs> cool. That's great. That's great. So I just hate one thing is um yeah. rain. I don't like rain. Rain. I yeah, literally yeah, don't hate like rain because like, ha, when you're in the Bangalore and you are all dressed up and you're going, it really starts raining and you have to hide for shelter oh and you don't God. even have an umbrella with you because suddenly it's sunny and and next moment it starts raining. Not it there because um you guys have had a little bit more time. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put one of you in the mm-hmm. waiting room and speak to you one by one. Okay, Manish. So yeah, now is the kind of concluding moment. So I'm. Almost a hundred percent sure. I know the answer to this question. Okay, but would you like to go on a date with her, paid for by me? Would you like to try to say you don't like her back and potentially go for the cash prize of five thousand rupees, or would you like to just leave it there? I would like to meet with her. That's the main thing because I find a personality. <clears> oh <throat> my god! And how was my second part perfect manage conversation? Second part was much better. It flowed a lot better. The only, the only tip I still have for you is one more tip, right? Um, in conversations, a lot of um, people are always trying to fill in um, the silence quickly. And I, the only, the only bad thing I noticed about you doing is the second there was a silence, you're instantly trying to fill it in. Sometimes it's better to actually just wait because two things yeah. will happen: either she's going to fill it in, <laughs> or if there is a, s- a silence for a few seconds, it just makes you look more comfortable. So mm. she said earlier that she likes someone. who feels comfortable and when you're with your best friends or your parents you don't mind if there's a silence do you know what yeah. i mean so sometimes silence is okay you don't need to instantly fill it in but i get that so all good man i'm going to go ask her for her verdict and i'll bring you back in in a minute okay hey pratiba welcome back hi hey so what i need to do now is give you your three options um and you're free to pick this and i'm not going to tell you okay. what he's picked cuz i already have his answer so your first option okay. is to say that you'd like to see him and meet him um and i'll obviously pay for you guys to go mm. on a date champagne whatever you want it's all on me your second option is to okay. pick that you um whatever reason don't want to see him again um and in that scenario um if he mm. picked you and you pick you don't want to see him uh, there's a 5000 rupees cash prize for you Um, and the third option is that you pick you don't want to see him also okay. but in the scenario he also picked that nothing happens Hey guys a lot of effort has gone into this video so if you do enjoy it please leave a like comment and subscribe it will show me that I should make a part 2 of this and if i see 400 likes a part 2 is coming up so i'd like to hear your answer now please okay i would prefer the first option i guess He picked um, up that too. Sorry. He picked up that too, or he didn't. Your reaction is I'm like literally I, I, confusing. No, no, no. I, I'm just. I'm okay. I'm not saying anything. I'm going to bring him back in, and you guys can have a conversation just for one minute. Okay. So I have both of your answers. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the so so the answer is in. Okay, I've got both of your answers. Um, and what I'd like to say. Is you're both officially going on a date, three course meal, champagne, all paid for by me. How are you feeling about that, Manish? I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling more than what you are. Me too. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
perfect guys um, i love a happy ending like this so what i'd like to do just to inform you on the process you guys can connect on instagram i'll send both of you each other's username um and you guys arrange to go somewhere okay, okay. that's for you to do but um let me know everything on the menu you're going to be okay how much it will cost i'll send half the money to manish and half the money to pratiba and i'll facilitate for anything you guys want to get but okay. you have to get a champagne bottle that's part of the rules which makes it more fun oh okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would be awesome yeah <laughs> okay guys so we're gonna leave it there okay you made my day actually who me or man you're so unexpected Yes, actually, I'm him. talking about you. Yeah, Manish, I would think about it when I meet him. But at the moment, you really made my day, or a week, or I don't know what. But you did made my day. like. I'm smiling. I'm like your to his your smile at the moment. So thanks. thank you, Pratib. But now I'm really happy for you guys, and I hope it goes well. And we're gonna get an update on how your date went before I make the next episode. And I'm gonna put that into the next episode so that okay. people can see how the previous episode went. But I'm really happy for you guys. Okay, thank you.